Hello my little apples, welcome back to another what I eat in a day video where I show you what I eat in a day because you guys like that and I like showing you what I eat. First of all, if you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content of this channel and if you do, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch some more fun videos about veganism, lifestyle, and whatnot. Um, another thing is that two, yes, I am vegan and I have been vegan for three years, over three years now. And so everything here is going to be plant-based and just to show you guys that you can be a healthy college student because I'm in college and also eat a vegan diet, also on a budget, and it's really easy, realistic. You guys will see in a couple seconds. This was filmed on a day in particular that I just could not stop eating. Like I couldn't, my hunger was just ravenous. Like not just my physical hunger, but also like my mental hunger. I think it's because of the implementation of a lot heavier lifts. Like I've been lifting weights, but I've been going really heavy lately and it's starting to show in my body development. I see more muscles starting to grow and with more muscle means more energy is needed to facilitate that growth and that energy and so I have felt that my hunger for food has definitely gone up my body just wants more food my body just wants more energy because that's how you grow muscles and that's what muscles do especially when you are lifting weights or implementing a new exercise regimen into your lifestyle so that is basically the intro that I have for you right now I have been playing around with intermittent fasting again, but instead of calling it intermittent fasting, I like to call it time-restricted feeding, where it's not fasting as in calorie restriction, but it's just eating within a certain time window, and there are a lot of benefits to this for your body. And the main thing that I have noticed with it is that it has helped me stay more focused in the daytime. I felt my digestion get a little bit better after I've gotten kind of used to it. And I did intermittent fasting before. I feel like it was way more stressful for me and more rigid because I was like, I need to only eat between the hours of 12 and 8 p.m. and I can't eat anything before that or after that. But I realize now that like, if I'm hungry at 10 a.m., I'll just eat a little earlier. If I'm not hungry until 1 p.m., then that's when I'll eat. If I still want to eat some more ice cream and it's 9 or 10 p.m., then I'll eat it then. It's definitely not a necessity for me to be so rigid with it. You know, I just want to eat when I want to eat, and I felt that this schedule has been really good for me. I'm not typically hungry in the morning. I don't really like lunchtime because I feel like it's this weird limbo. Like, what do I eat? Like, it's either breakfast food or dinner food. Lunch to me is like a, I'm kind of dinner but I'm kind of not. I have done a lot of scientific literature and research on it, and it has been found to have a tremendous positive effect on growth hormone, which is supposed to help build muscle mass and increase size, and so I'm hoping that'll help as well. Of course, you can't follow a time-restricted feeding window and expect to gain muscle without eating enough calories, so make sure that when you are trying this out, for the first time ever and you don't want to lose weight that you are tracking what you're eating and you're keeping everything on tab and good to go anyway this talking portion has been really long so let's just get into the voiceover portion of this video where i tell you and show you what i eat so after class i am hungry usually so i'll just reach for my jar of mixed nuts and some kind of dried fruit so these are dried date crumbles i actually ate way more than this but i totally forgot to film it so i'm just showing you guys how i would eat it so i would just put some date crumbles in my hand and some nuts in my hand and just plop it in my mouth kind of like trail mix but I didn't mix them together because, you know, what if I want them separate sometimes? What if I don't? I always find that when I eat my mixed nuts, I always eat it with some kind of fruit, like grapes or dried fruit. Um, that's just how I like to eat it. And now for the oatmeal portion, I've been eating a bunch of these overnight oats little cups. And they've been a really convenient asset to have in my kitchen. So I would just soak it in almond milk or water overnight. And this one in particular, I didn't soak properly, so there were kind of a couple dry lumps, but that's okay, because I like soaking my overnight oats and then I like rewarming them again for some reason. I put it all in a bowl, mixed it up, added a little bit more water, and then microwaved it for two minutes. As I was heating up the oats again, I cut my little apple. Not you guys, just like an apple. <laughs> I love having apples with nut butter. It's one of my favorite ever go-to snacks and I love this nutso butter. It's full of a bunch of different nuts and seeds and flax seeds and it's nice and crunchy but also has that nut butter taste to it. I'm just gonna add a scoop of vanilla protein powder into it. This brand is Vegan Smart which I really love and I talk about it all the time. And then I put in a scoop of Amazing Grass Super Greens Superfood 
whatever, whatever, just so I can get my little extra health and my greens in for the day. I like my oatmeal a little thin, so I thinned it out with a little bit more water. And then I topped it with some frozen blueberries, unhold hemp seeds. I like these because they have a really nice crunch. I'll leave the link to the ones that I have in the description below, but you should definitely try them out because if you like hemp seeds, then I feel like you'd like unhold hemp seeds. And then I topped it with some flax seeds. I know that the flax seeds in the whole form aren't digestible, and I understand that. I just like them when they're nice and like whole and crunchy. So that's why I put a lot more than the recommended tablespoons. And then I have my apple nut butter. A couple hours later, I was getting a little snacky. Not particularly hungry, but snacky. So I reached for one of my favorite snacks ever, which is just energy bars or protein bars and these bars in particular are so good so these are red superfood energy bars and i got the variety pack because i'm a crazy person and i just like having a lot at hand which is not the best idea but this is a salted caramel superfood energy and it was really good and here's me showing you what it looks like after i took a bite because i couldn't wait but yeah, I pretty much devoured this in like one minute and I didn't regret any part of it at all. So before I went to the gym for my workout, I prepped myself some pre-workout, which is this HVOL. It's a non-stimulant, not caffeinated pre-workout, which just helps with blood flow to your muscles before and during your workout. I talk more about it in my supplements that I take video. So I'll leave the link to that in the description below or you could just like click it somewhere. I feel like I would do that too. And so I prepped that in a mason jar because I just like mason jars. And then I also brought with me some BCAAs to sip on during and after my workout, which you can see right here. And I do talk about BCAAs in my other video and I shook it and brought it with me in my healthy human water container, which helps me stay hydrated, honestly. When you have a bottle with you, you just stay hydrated. When I came back from my workout, I was ravenous. So I ate a bunch of grapes and these blackberries. And then I also combined grapes with nuts because I like eating nuts with fruit or some kind of sweet thing. It's just a really nice combination. And now for the dinner, obviously I'm going to make an I don't know, just eat it bowl full of romaine lettuce because I freaking love romaine lettuce. So I started with a base of romaine and then I added in the remains of a really old avocado and I tried to get as much of the good part as possible out of there. So what resulted from the whole avocado was probably half of it because the other parts were just brown and like too oxidized. And then I took probably about half a teaspoon of dulse flakes and about a teaspoon of rice vinegar and mashed everything together to make this really nice salad. If you've never mashed avocado into your greens, you have to try it because it just makes eating greens so easy. The avocado adds such a great creamy texture to it and you get all the extra health. The healthy monounsaturated fats in the avocado help absorb the vitamins A and K in your greens, especially in romaine lettuce. There's a lot of vitamins A and K in there which are fat soluble. So adding a healthy fat such as avocado to your salads is really beneficial for the absorption of those vitamins into your body. I added on some cherry tomatoes and some steamed veggies and a bunch of beans. Added a nice drizzle of tahini because you can't go wrong with tahini on top. A sprinkle of pumpkin seeds for a nice crunch and also for more zinc and more protein. And magnesium. Pumpkin seeds are a great source of magnesium. And as I was eating this huge salad, I was reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which is a great read so far and I'm very much enjoying it. Now for dessert, I tried making some kind of like protein mug cake thing, but the recipe that I followed just didn't do its job and it didn't turn out well. I'm just gonna show you what I put into it. So there's like flax seeds. And then I put in a scoop of vegan smart chocolate protein as well as some baking powder, vanilla extract, a couple tablespoons of almond milk and mix that up. Then I microwaved it for a minute at a time for about like three minutes. And as I was doing that, I was snacking on hella blackberries and chocolate chips because chocolate chips are life, you know? And when it came out, it just didn't turn out well. It just wasn't a mug cake and I was really disappointed in myself, but I decided to just make the most out of it. So what I did was just make it more like a pudding. So I added in some more almond milk and then I added in some more blackberries, a little bit of chocolate granola, pumpkin seeds, mixed it up and just ate it. And you know what? It was really good still, even though it wasn't the mug cake that I was expecting. And after that, I still wanted something sweet and chocolatey, so I opted for this rice cream 
ice cream, which is basically chocolate ice cream made out of rice milk, which I thought was really interesting. So I bought it and tried it and it's really good. So that was everything that I ate that day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you liked it, again, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to me and turn on those notifications because a lot of you have been saying that you haven't been seeing my videos on your subscription feed. So if you turn on my notifications, you'll know exactly when I post each video. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.